Great, uh, Russell, are you there? Hello? Mr. Samaron, are you there? Hello? Erasmo? Can you hear me? Hello. Hello, yes, hello. Okay. Yes, testing, testing, testing. Hello, how are you doing? Hey, hello. I'm great. How are you? Very fine, thank you. Okay, we are not celebrating. Well, I missed to tell you. Um, well, today is Mother's Day. In case you have, you are celeb. Uh, well, Socrates just just let me know uh, today, but he hasn't been here for a while, like for two classes. But he'll be back. He's usually the one um, in the whole the two weeks. Anyway, can you hear me? Yes, oh, I couldn't oh. understand very well, but I kind of understand that you are celebrating. Yeah, you are celebrating Mother's Day because uh, I was told by the school, you know, the, the, the coordinator, you have uh, like you, you celebrate your mom or you have a party, it's okay, but you have to watch the video for next for tomorrow. Mm -hmm. But I'm here. I'm here. I've been having all the classes, like just a few students. As you wish. I, I I'm not celebrating anything. No, neither do I. Just some food later with my sister. <laughs> so it's fine. I'm glad you're here. Because I was waiting and I was about to close. <laughs> I said, well nobody's here. What happened? It's because you weren't started. No, yes, well, I started. Uh, it was 11 minutes, I started. Uh, but it, as nobody it. was there, I restarted the computer because it was kind of tired. I mean, the computer, not me. Mm -hmm. It was like acting up. All right. Um, let's continue, let me see. you see my uh, screen? Yes, I guess. <laughs> I, I right. have an issue with my camera because my, I don't know how to, to change it because I have uh, another cam. And this is not what I'm trying to use. Oh, okay. I don't know how to change it. That's why you only see my t-shirt. Yeah, I'm saying use your Levi's <laughs> shirt. It's okay, because... now I can see your face. Yes, but this is from the bottom. And um, my screen is in front and up. So Yeah, it looks kind of blue. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but it's okay. I can see you. I guess I'm a smart. Yeah, it sounds it works. At least it works. So tell me, how was your week? My weekend? Yes, your weekend. Mm -hmm. Or your well, week in general? My last, the last week? Yes. Um, well, it was. Mm -hmm. um, I find it. <laughs> All right, change um, a little. That's better. You get a you get a haircut. Yes, I have. I need one too. In the on Saturday. Saturday, yes. Well, today's is today Sunday. No, today's Monday. <laughs> yes. Monday. Mother's Day in the United States was yesterday, not today. Yesterday you know, we there... celebrated my mom. That's why today I'm not going to visit her. And, oh. 
because I'm a professor and I have students in a high school. Oh, okay. In the afternoons. And um, besides the English preparation, TOEFL class. All right. What do you teach? I teach in uh, technological. Technology? Technology high school. It's called Cebetis. And oh. I teach in the clinical laboratory. Oh, nice. They, they are Great. called professional component. Oh, yes, I know that because, uh, you know, it worked for some time for Set del Mar. Mm -hmm. It's like the same level like Cebetis. Mm -hmm. Cebetis and other. I worked there for just one year. Of course, the same with English as an English teacher. But well, anyway. Now, what? No. <laughs> I, I used I worked there just for one year when I got here from when I came back from the United States. So they had me for two semesters. Okay. I am a part-time teacher because I have only 20 hours a week. And I teach in sciences in general, but it, for example, biochemistry, uh -huh. endocrinology, toxicology. And right now we are studying oncology. Oncology, wow. Yeah. Cancer and stuff. I told you, you must, you are a, you are a good brain <laughs> to, to know all that. Oh my God. I am good, good in arts, in dancing and in languages. In English. Languages, English, French, Italian. Anyway, um, well, thank you for being here today. So we will continue. We will continue today with the structure and a written expression. As you remember, we finished. Well, we almost finished the test. We have like three more questions. But today, well, first, do you see the book? My book, my PowerPoint yes. slides. Yes. Yes. This is the syllabus. Mm -hmm. uh, what we're going to see. We did the diagnostic pretest. Uh, we can see, we will see uh, skill one, two, three, four, and five, and then review these skills. If we have time, we can see skill six, seven, and eight. Okay. You know, each, each skill, like, uh, like they have like 35, 40 skills. So this, uh, we, the, the first ones are the most important. We have this example in the first day. Okay, let me make it a little bit bigger. Okay, this is the first skill. Be sure the sentence has a subject and a verb, right? That's what we saw the first time. That's the first thing you have to see in a sentence. And we did these examples. Something is smelly here, like burning, burning or something. Okay, we have the first example. Um, you have to pick you have to choose A, B, C, or D. We need a subject here. Cars. So you have to pay attention in between the verb and subject agreement, right? Also, you need to, to pay attention on that if it's singular or it's plural. Was back up for rights on the three. Okay, the, the now the number. So it's traffic. Traffic, yes. Was backed up for miles on the freeway. Correct. That's easy. Example two. Well, you have the reasons here. If you want to read it, 
but you know, traffic is the correct one. It causes the, na the number. The like cars is plural, plural right? Is plural. Yes. Yesterday it was a subject. Yesterday, an answer being learning are not subjects. Sample two. Engineers are needed for are work need, yes. on the new space program. Yes, you can tell right away. Good, good. Sample three. The boy will be going to the movies with a friend. Yes. The best answer is D. In the future. We'll be together, yes. With going is a complete verb. So all of them are wrong because they have he. So we have the boy. So can, we cannot have two subjects, right? And we're going to say the boy is relaxing going. It doesn't make sense. A sentence in English, this is basic. A sentence in English must have at least one subject and one verb, correct? Easy peasy. Okay, let me move this thing. Can you see it now? Yes, yes, exercise one. Underline the subjects once, the verbs twice. Yes. In each of the following sentences. Yes, then first is... Okay, uh -huh. the sentences are correct or incorrect. Correct or incorrect. Yes, I or C. So you have the I first example. I have one that is... Ah, okay, sorry, the example. One last week went fishing for trout at the nearby mountain lake. Incorrect. Incorrect. You need the noun subject. The is subject. Fishing. I. That week I went fishing. I went fishing for trout. Yes, you need the subject. Number two. Correct. I scheduled on the day's events can be obtained at the front desk. Yes. The schedule can be obtained. So you Number have the subject, three. subject once. Schedule and the verb First, twice. can be obtained. May I write on the screen? Yes, of course. I think. I have on the day shift of the night shift at the plant available. Let me give you the the, the... permission. Yes. Uh, how here? All right. You are the co-host now, so you can write. I I hope so. Okay, try to do it. See if it works, please. A job on the day shift, yes. <laughs> I can't write that. 
12, but I guess. <laughs> okay. No verb. The new computer programs has provided, has provides a variety of helpful applications. So this is the subject, the new computer program. And this is the verb, but it's a co incorrect conjugation. Because both are with the S has provided. Well, this is, not, <clears throat> this is not like a uh, present perfect. Or only provides. Yes, this, could be no. either or one or the other. Uh -huh. The new computer provides a variety of helpful applications. Sorry, yeah. I, <laughs> I made a mess. It looks like a web. <laughs> The box can be opened until with a special screwdriver. Yes. It's correct. Oops, hold on. I call it open the, the, the cans with the easy opening. They are called open easy or easy open. Mm -hmm. And there are lecheras that are difficult to open oh yes but well, now they have the the, the a, thingy a the thing you know the thingy there's like a thingy like the uh, la costeña mm -hmm. just pull it up pull it out and that's it yes this is a easy open but there are oh yeah still, you still you can still find are, those like you need a, a knife or like an, an opener a, a machete or something yeah <laughs> well if you have some yes why not Number six. Uh -huh. The assigned text for history class, it contains more than 20 chapters. The assigned text for history class, it's repeated because it has already a subject. So yeah, the assigned so text for the history yes, only so it contains. Has two subjects, right? Sorry, because the indication is <laughs> underline and double underline. I'm going to follow the instruction. Yeah. The papers in the waste basket should be emptied and into the into the trash can outside. So the papers in the waste basket. This is the soft the, the papers. I'm not sure it's only the papers or in the basket waste basket. But should the be papers, yeah, the papers in the bas the waste basket. Complete. Okay. Complete. Should be emptied into the trash can outside. I guess it's correct because verbs is should be emptied. Well, only <laughs> the end. Yes, it is correct. The picture before down. Number two phone subject and verb. One subject and one verb. Mm -hmm. The picture before down on a boat in the middle of the harbor. Correct or incorrect first? It's missing something. I guess it's the the verb. Yes, there's no verb there. No verb. Do you see a verb? Departure. Where can need to be the verb? in the beginning? No. Well, I mean, departure <laughs> before down on a boat. This is the, the subject. Or only departure. Departure is a subject, and then you need the verb. In here. 
Okay. Well, it should be wrong to say departure, depart, right? So we use we should say departure leaves. Thank you. If we are using singular, yes, before the departure leads before down a boat in the middle of the harbor. Okay. Yes. Uh, number nine. Yesterday I found an interesting article on pollution. Yes. So yes it's sir. missing the it's subject. The subject. The new machine is processed. The new machine is processes 50% more than the previous machine. So this is the subject, the new machine. Mm -hmm. And this is the verb. So this is extra. Yes. You know, it could be either one, one or the other. Easy, right? Mm -hmm. Sorry. I no, it's fine. How to raise this? Got it. Thank you. Hold on, please. Okay, that should be the next one. An object of a preposition can cause. Be careful of objects of preposition. Can you see it? Yes, skill two, be careful of objects of prepositions. An object of a preposition is a noun or a pronoun that comes after a preposition, such as in, at, of, to, by, behind, and so on, to form a prepositional phrase. After his exams, Tom will take a trip by boat. This sentence, has, sorry, this sentence contains two objects of prepositions. Sam's is the object of the preposition after and both is the object of the preposition by, by. Yes, by both. Okay. Let's do the examples like this. With his friend, found the movie theater. What do you think? With, with his friend, Mm -hmm. He found the movie theater. This, this part, well, no, I don't know about you, but this, this part is kind of confusing. Um, when is the, the an object of a preposition? Like in this example, you should look first for the subject and the verb. Mm -hmm. so, so you have a verb and yes. you have a is found past tense okay so is there b with his friend he found the movie theater yes 
As you see here, you have the answer here. He is the best answer. Answers A, C, and D are not correct because they cannot be subjects. Exactly. Good. Good. I tell you, you're smart. Believe me. And I like, like Donald Trump used to say when he was in the campaign, I'm smart, I'm smart. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. But not too smart because I got 12 points in the grammar. Well, yeah. maybe because you were not having a good moment. Well, I, I was kind of stressed. That's, that's what I mean. Uh, sometimes when you take the, the, the exam, it's about what you, what you are dealing with in the moment. So not because you don't know the answers, it's because you are stressed, you're tired, uh, you have problems, blah, 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 blah. Says exercise two, each of the following is not the next. Oh, oh. Tell you here, yes. Exercise two. Exercise two. Same. Each of the following sentences contains one or more prepositional phrases. Right. On the same line the last, of the, uh, the last one. one. Sorry? It is saying like the last one, correct okay. or incorrect, and what oh, is okay. here? The, well, there are case, clauses. Yes, in are this the, case, you have to circle the prepositional phrases that comes before the verb, like the number one. The interviews by radio broadcasters were carried live by the station. Right? The, you have the subject, one line. We're you have the verb, two lines, and you have the object. So this one is correct. If you follow the, the of, of course, follow the instructions. So this one is correct. Second one is incorrect. In the last possible moment. Before takeoff. Uh huh. Is it in the airplane? What is missing there? The subject who who took the seat. He, I guess. Yes, he took his seat. Why? Because you have his, his, right? He took his seat in the airplane. Yes. Um, number three. Is the neighborhood flower shop, flowers in quantities of a dozen or a half dozen. Sorry. <laughs> I wanted to move the, the, the picture in picture. Uh, sorry. Oh. I, get, hmm. I cannot move it. Or, okay. I cannot move it. In, in, a dozen or a half dozen can be delivered for free. So that's correct or incorrect? Number three. Flowers in quantities. I guess it's correct because this is the, the subject. This is the verb. Mm -hmm. Yes, and this is the other stuff. I don't remember the cloth at the neighborhood flower shop. Mm -hmm. Circle the prepositional phrase. This yes. is the prepositional phrase. Okay. Correct, correct, correct. <laughs> Subject. Um, 
subject, object, and verb. Good. Four. The progressive reading methods at this school are given credit for the something test course. Yes, correct or incorrect? Mm. It's incorrect. Uh, where do you see the mistake? Because the, the progressive reading methods at the school, the, these are the The progressive reading methods at these schools. This is the subject. I give credit for the improved test scores. Right, improved is not uh, working there as a, as a verb. Improved test scores. This is a, yeah, an adjective. Yes. I give credit for the improved test scores. So that should be correct. Yeah, it is correct. Number five. For the last three years at various hospitals in the county, I've been practicing medicine. So this is the phrase, the prepositional phrase. And the first one, for the last three years at various hospitals in the county. Then the bear is, has been practicing and we are missing a um, subject. So I yes. guess it's incorrect. Yes, it's incorrect. You need a subject. So for the subject has to be singular, right? Mm -hmm. He it has been be practicing medicine. Uh -huh. Could be a oh. pronoun or a noun, like the doctor or she. Doctor House has been practicing medicine. Yeah, something like that. Let's put it a name. <laughs> Okay, number six, in the past a career in politics was not considered acceptable or, <laughs> sorry, because I remember a politician. <laughs> acceptable, sorry, I'm going to be serious. In the past, a career in politics was not considered acceptable in some circles. I'm going to underline. A career in politics. Politics? In politics? Yes, politics. I mean, politics or polit politicians. Okay, a career in politics was not considered. This is the verb. In the, in the past, could be the prepositional verb. Yeah, well, uh, in the past, a career in politics was not considered acceptable in some circles. Your letter, so number six is correct, yes. Mm -hmm. Shopping in the downtown area of the cities has improved a lot in recent years. So it's incorrect. Incorrect. Because shopping in the downtown area of the city is the bear. The bear, sorry, the subject. Yes, there's a subject. Orally shopping, but I guess it's 
every, and everything of the city. And shopping, subject, and then you have it, right? Sorry. I didn't want to place it here, but it's supposed it's not in here. It. Yes, it, yes, not has. And then the bear. Yes, shopping in the downtown area of the city has improved a lot in recent years. This is the, the prepositional phrase. Yes. Eight, at the building site, the carpenters with the most experience were given the most in 2K to work. Yes. The carpenters with the most experience. I hope your back, the background music is not too loud. It's, it's not me, it's from the street. I My neighbors that you have partying. I did, didn't pay attention, sorry, because- Oh, it's okay, it's better. I, I have a problem with attention. Yeah, you, but you're, focus. Because you focus on what you're doing, right? So that's <laughs> I can, good. I can listen to anything else. Yeah. And the, the inside, the carpenters with the most experience were given the most intricate work. I guess it's correct. Yes, in my correct. in my rancheria, carpenters are a uh, menace. Imagine that right now there are not too much water uh -huh. in the city, and carpenters pick the tanks, water tanks in in the roof the ceiling, I don't know the name of the outside part of the up in the house. Ceiling? I always confuse ceiling and roof. Roof is the, up, the upper part. The roof. What where is inside can, your house? That's a, that's a roof. Where we can Where you walk. can walk. Yes, you can walk. Okay. No, it's, it's not the part in indoor. Okay. Well, the carpenters pick the tanks, the water tanks, in in the roofs here in some houses and this is mm. very weird. Yes, weird. It, yes. Because uh, this this kind of birds, I didn't imagine mm -hmm. that can have the has the have, can have the the strength to do that because the the tanks are from plastic or something like that. Yeah. So this is that's in your hometown, yes, your city. Yes, yes here I, there are lots of carpenters, the woodpeckers, mm. birds. Good papers. They are not called carpenters. I know, but this is a name in Spanish that we do mm, use for this kind of birds. Oh yeah, yeah. It's carpenter, so woodpecker. Woodpecker. I know that. <laughs> but they pick the plastic in the water tanks in order to look for water. Oh, um, they wanna get busy with something. <laughs> Whatever is fine. I just wanna pick on this. Tick 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 tick. Yeah, I have, I, when I, what I was living for, I was living by Magallanes, by Costera, here in Acapulco. Okay. And there was one woodpecker that it was every, every morning he was there, like trying to get the, the electricity, where they have the cables. He was always there. Wow. Well, you know, sometimes it happens, it's weird. Anyway, we have a third skill, a positive. Hey. A positive can use confusion in structure, like everything, right? 
Uh, I think there is a synonym for a positive, uh, like uh, defining, remember the defining clause, undefining clause, is kind of that. Well, when we, are learn, when we are learning basic English, we call defining class or undefining. Describing something? Yes, like this one. Sally, the best students in the class got an A in the, the exam. Like the best student in the class is an extra information, right? We don't need to know that. Just Sally got an A on the exam. So it's also called a positive. So that's what it's about on skill number three. In this adversary is a subject in the sense be still in the class can easily be recognized as an appositive phrase because of the noun student and because of the commas. The sentence says that Sally and the best student in the class are the same person. Note, if you leave out the appositive phrase, the sentence still makes sense. Sally got an A on the exam. The full example shows an appositive could be confused with the subject of a sentence in the structure section of the double test. Yeah, the sentence still makes sense without this, you know, after the comma, um, before the comma, so it's an extra information. I mean, it's not essential to know that. Let me see. Okay. Example one. My friend, mm, I said the wrong <laughs> comma, George is attending the lecture. So what will you choose? Hmm? Can you see it? In a minute. I mm -hmm. have this bar, the, the toolbars. In his oh. blocky. Says George is attending the lecture. My friend. My friend, comma, George is attending the lecture, right? Right. It usually goes like that with commas. Mm -hmm. Yes. Sample two. Sarah really misses her basketball shots. An excellent basketball player, Sarah, really misses her basketball shots. Yes. Easy peasy, I think. This is just extra information about that. Can you see it? Yes. Uh, no, positive is a noun that comes before or after another noun. And it's generally set up from the noun with commas. If a word is an appositive, it's not the subject. The following appositive structures are both possible in English. Subject yes, tone, mm -hmm. positive, a really good mechanic, and there is six in the car. Positive, a really good mechanic, Tom, the yes. subject, there is six in the car. Mm -hmm. It's kind of um, unnecessary information, I guess, when you try to make, make longer your writing. Mm -hmm. 
yeah, it's extra information that is not necessary to be there. But just uh, like this one, when the subject is at, is at the beginning, there is always a comma. Tom, a really good mechanic, comma is fixing the car. Then the same, you have the, the positive at the beginning, a, a really good mechanic, Tom is fixing the car. Oof, it's hot here in Acapulco. How about you in Veracruz? Yeah. Is hot too? Yes, it's very hot. We were uh, 42 degrees, I guess. The last week. 42? That's too hot. Yes. Here in Acapulco, is, when it's the, the hottest, it should be like 38. Right now, I guess we are like that. Yeah, sometimes it's like humid, so like but you are not sweating a lot. You feel now it's because heat. it started to rain. Oh, that's why you don't feel that that hot. Previously, it hadn't rained for since uh -huh. the last year, I guess. Yeah, it rained here two days ago. No, nights. You said night. Just a little bit. Okay, uh, we are in exercise three. Same, same pattern, same um, directions. Same Valentine's time. Day, February 14, is a special holiday for sweethearts. Sorry, the number one, I guess. <laughs> See, what? What are you talking about? <laughs> the son of the previous owner, the new owner, is undertaking some fairly broad changes in management policy. Yes, management policy. That's correct. Yes. And the other number two is incorrect because says, last semester, a friend graduated cum laude from the university. Yes. This is okay. incorrect. The Last pair. semester. You need a noun there. Last semester, Erasmo. A friend. Uh-huh. Because because it's it's only the, the positive that is missing the subject, the real subject. Yeah, well, that word come loud is weird. Do you know what it means come? It's like when you have honor, when you graduate as the best student. Like uh, valedictorian, right? My boss here in my job has a PhD degree called um, something honoris causa. This yeah, is it's Latin. Kind. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. It's honor, with honor or with praise, academic level of achievement. Mm -hmm. Great. Okay. And you said you were saying the Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day, February 14, is a special holiday for sweethearts. You say it's correct. Number four. Number four. At long last, the chief execute, executive officer has decided to step down. At long last, the chief executive At long last, officer yes. It, I guess it's missing the subject because it has the this stuff, the a positive, the chief executor officer. This is the, the a positive. Yes. And it's missing um 
this object there here. So I guess it's incorrect. So what do you need there? Uh, the oh. mm, the name. You need a name, yes. Correct, you need a name. At long last, Mr. Samaron, the chief executive officer, had decided to step down. If you say, if you don't say, or you don't read the chief executive officer, at long last, Mr. Samaron has decided to step down, right? Right. So this is an extra information. Number five, please. Tonight, Supper, leftovers from last night, did not taste at better tonight than last night. All right. What do you have for that? Correct or incorrect? Correct. It's, I guess it's the same case. The subject is missing. Tonight's supper. Leftover from last night. It didn't taste any better tonight than last night. Let's exclude this. Tonight's supper didn't taste any better tonight than last night. So it's correct? It's correct. Tonight's supper is the subject? Yes. That's correct. Okay. Six, please. The only entrance to the closet, the door was kept uh, locked at all times. Yes, the entrance to the closet the door was kept locked at all times. Um, correct, correct or incorrect? I'm not sure. The only entrance to the closet. The door was kept locked all, at all times. I guess. Is correct. Yes, it is. You have the positive at the beginning, then the comma, and then you have all the subject, the verb. I was confused because it doesn't have two commas, but it's not necessary. Right. You don't need it in that sentence. In the cold of winter, a wall heating unit would not turn on. In the cold of winter, a wall heating unit would not turn on. Cold of winter would not turn on. I guess the subject is missing. From would not turn on. In the cold of winter, would not turn on doesn't make sense so i need a pronoun for example it mm -hmm. a wall heating unit what is a wall heating unit a radiator kind of a radiator like all those um air conditionings okay but i would say electric heater is called heater 
a heater is like the same like air conditioning, but it gives you heat instead of cold. Yes, and it's yes. put on the wall. It's something very rare here in Tabasco. Oh. Uh, well, they are very common here. Well, here, how do you call those? Um, split mini split. Yes, but I guess the the heating units. No oh, heating, no, of course, no, not, not common. In Guerrero, <laughs> but in Chicago, all of that's you know you need a heater for winter, or you cannot survive. Okay. A harsh yeah. winter. <clears throat> The new tile pattern, yellow flowers on a white background, really brightened up the room. This correct or incorrect? I guess it's correct. Yes. It is. The high-powered computer, the most powerful machine of its type, was finally radiated for use. The high-powered computer, the most powerful machine of its type, the comma. <laughs> yes. <laughs> the the high-powered computer, comma, the most powerful machine of its type, comma, yes, was finally Radiate for use. So only one comma here. Mm -hmm. So is it incorrect? It's incorrect. You're just missing one comma. Just because of that comma is not correct because or is incorrect? Because could I could I can think that this is the the subject, the large paragraph is a subject. The high power computer, the most powerful machine of its type. I guess it's too long. Too long. Yeah. A long time friend and confident, the psychologist was often invited over for Sunday dinner. Yes. A long time friend and confident, the psychologist, coma was often invited for Sunday dinner. I guess it's the same case. It's missing a comma. Where? After psychologist. After psycholo the psychologist. Here? Yes. No, really. A long time frame, it's the subject. A long and time confident. frame, and confident. And confident. Oh, the psychologist is the positive phrase. And the rest is the very, was often invited. Yes. Well, in this sentence, I forgot. In this sentence, there should be a comma here, right? There should be a comma. Correct. But they don't put it. So they say it's correct according to the, 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 the book. What I know is, is it's with a comma here, like all the sentences. So I don't see any difference with the other ones. Do you? So it's correct. Yes. Okay. Let me move this, please. And I have a guy here working with electricity, so I don't have the fun right now. I have to wear this shirt, long sleeve shirt. That's a uniform.
Okay. Skill number four, be careful of present participles. A present participle is the ing form of the verb, talking, playing, etc. Sometimes we confuse that, remember? Sorry? It can be either a part of the verb or an adjective. It is part of the verb when it's preceded by some form of the verb be. The man is talking to his friend. That's normal, right? So there's no there's no problem with that. Okay. But Present sometimes, part. like here. Is the same kind of the same explanation here? The man talking to his friend has a bird. In this sentence, talking is an adjective and not part of the bird because it is not accompanied for, by some form of be. There's no be here, you see? It doesn't say the man is talking, it says the man talking yes, it's an to adjective. his friend. Yes, it's an adjective. It's Only is the, the present continuous with the ing. And right. cross the bird tree. Right. And the bird here is has. You see? Okay, you have another example here. The child. The child. The child. the child is playing in the yard, it's my son. Yes. The child now playing in the yard is my son. There's no verb be, so it's not present continue. You well, can be sure it's not in past tense. The sentence is not in past tense. <clears throat> Why not? Well, you said now, the child now playing in the yard is my son. I mean, it's omitting the verb be, but it means it's present. Oh, you 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 are saying that you can you can make the sentence in past tense? Well, yes, that's what you mean. Why is not was? It's the same that was not. Because there's there's no verb be here. Oh, here. Was my son? No, the child, the correct is the verb um, A. A. Uh -huh. The child now playing in the yard is my son. Oh, no, you can say the child, but you say you're saying now, right? You can say the child um, earlier playing in the yard was my son. You see the time? Because you're here saying now, that's why it's present. Yes? That's because you're saying now. That's why they are using is in the, on the was because it's of the time expression. So playing is an adjective. Yes. Okay, <clears throat> we have the exercise four. Let's try to see if we can finish it. The companies offering the lowest prices will have the most 
customers. It's correct. Adjective. So yes, it's an adjective. Those travelers are completing their trip on Delta should report to gate three. Those travelers. The berries are those travelers those, are completing. Those travelers are completing, right? You're using verb B, are completing. Present continuous. The trip on Delta should report to gate three. So you have another verb here. Should report. And you have another verb here. So only we need only completing. Those yes, travelers yes. completing their trip. Yes. On Delta should report to gate three. Yes. You need to eliminate uh, R. So we're going to be using completing. Number three, the artisans were demonstrating various handicrafts at booth throughout the fair. I guess it's correct. Yes, the artisans were demonstrating various handicrafts at, at booths throughout, throughout the fair. Yes, correct. Number four, please. The fraternities are giving the wildest parties attract the most new pledges. Okay. I guess it's incorrect. Because the fraternities is giving the wildest parties attract the, no, the most new pledges. Yes, just one verb. Because they're using two, are giving, present continuous, and attract. The verb is attract. Yes. The first team winning four games is awarded the championship. I guess it's correct. The first team winning the four games is awarded the championship, yes. Because please. the winning is the, an adjective and the verb is, is awarded. Awarded, it's awarded, yes. The speaker was trying to make his point, was often interrupted vociferously. Yeah, vociferously. So, Six. I guess this is the kind of same example. The speaker trying to make his point was often interrupted vociferously. Yes, you have double, double verbs, so you need to use one as an adjective. The fruits Correct. were rotting because, sorry, <laughs> the fruits were rotting. Rotting was yeah. of the moisture in the crates carrying them to market. Okay, what do you think? <clears throat> Correct or incorrect? Correct. I guess. Yes, it is. It is correct. Any students desiring official transcripts should complete the appropriate form. Any students desiring official transcripts should be complete the appropriate form. Also, it's correct. Yes, it is correct. Yes, it is. Yes. <clears throat> Number nine. And the 
advertisements were announcing the half day sale received a lot of attention. I guess it's incorrect. The, the advertisement announcing. Yes, you can, you, you cannot see, well, you sort of see the same mistake. They use the verb B and the ING plus another verb. So it's almost the same mistake. This is an adjective. Yes, it's an adjective. So this is incorrect. Mm -hmm. The spices flavor, flavoring the meal were quite distinctive. It's correct. It is correct. Yes. It's easy just so to, to focus the or pay attention. Teacher. They are using D, yes. Was, where, or is, are, and the ing plus another verb. So it means it's incorrect. Teacher? Yes. I guess I need to. <laughs> Because I have a class in at seven thirty. Ah, okay, six, six, seven, twenty-six. Yeah, it's fine. Uh, so it's fine. We will continue tomorrow. Thank you very much. All right. Thank you. Thank you for your time. I'll see you tomorrow. Have a great night. You. Okay. Have thank a nice you. Time. Okay. You too. Thank bye you. Bye bye. bye, -bye.